I'm Clint August, this is Motorcycle Monkey, and we're gonna take out the 2018 Indian Chieftain Limited. This thing's got all the bells and whistles. Before we hit the road, I wanna show you around North County Indian Motorcycles. They've got helmets, they've got jackets, gloves, all types of other accessories, service of course, and not just Indian Motorcycles. On their floor, they have everything from sport bikes to BMWs and more. Now it was time to take this baby out on the road to see what it can do. And with a Thunderstroke 111 V-Twin engine, it has plenty of power. 1,811 cc's, 119 foot-pounds of torque, plenty of pull. And on a full tank of gas, it weighs 834 pounds. It's a beast. Empty, it's 804. But of course, we ride our bikes with gas in them, don't we? Now the tank holds about five and a half gallons. One thing I noticed when I was pulling it off the kickstand is that it is a little bit front heavy, but when you're riding it, none of that. A great balance to this machine. One thing I'm noticing, uh, within about 10 or 15 minutes of riding the bike, uh, it's right about 93 degrees as the display reads right here. Uh, the back of your legs, the hamstrings, and your chestnuts, if you know what I mean, they really seem to heat up. So I'm kind of surprised, as much as I love this bike, and I do, that it's not a better heat management system, uh, you know, right down here. But I will tell you, it's not uncomfortable, it's just a bit warm. And on a cold winter morning, if you're riding, that could actually be a plus. A couple of things I address most times when I review a bike are my height and the length of my legs. And I do that because... This will give you an idea of what this bike might be like for you riding style. So for me with a 29 inch inseam, it's very important for me to be able to A, touch the ground. I can on this bike. B, the length of the footboards matter because with shorter legs, I often have to ride with my heels closer to my body than most people. Now I also like to be able to push them forward though without my toes dangling to be able to stretch my knees. So I thought this bike was very good for that. The other thing is the seating position. I really like to be able to sit straight up and not hunched over because I tell you what, if I do that for too long, it just hurts my back. Now, the last thing I noticed about the position in the seating are my hands. I really like the handlebars on this Indian Chieftain Limited. Uh, if they're too straight out, it's uncomfortable after a while. If they're too pulled back, same thing, my wrists start to hurt. This really seemed to work for me. So I just got off the bike, it's a nice ride, but I wanna show you some of the features. I wanna start with the command center. All right, so we're gonna fire this command center up. It's a one-touch button. Kind of cool, you'll see, yeah, smoke and the Indian logo. Now, the first thing you have to do before you roll out is you have to acknowledge the fact that you shouldn't be messing with this touchscreen while you're riding. You know it's dangerous, you press okay, and you're good to go. All right, so the first thing, I have a toggle switch over here, but the first thing I'm looking at is a map. If I wanna change the display, it's really cool. This is my favorite display right here. I can actually choose what I wanna see. 36 pounds of pressure in the rear tire, 34 pounds in the front, and you've got your engine hours that you've ridden, when you need your oil change. I mean, it's really cool. You've got your fuel range, the miles you've traveled on the bike, your average speed, and then of course you can change it again back to the radio. There are other features in this command center, but this allows you to choose how you want it to look. Here's another thing about this. If you choose a route on this, if you choose a route on this command center, what you can do is you can actually put waypoints on this command center along the way to your destination. So if you choose, let's say, Oatman, Arizona, and along the way you wanna say, all right, I wanna stop at these various places, it will allow you to pull off and get you back on track on your route. The other thing that's so cool is, if you get low on gas, it'll alert you, and it'll give you a display of several gas stations, the closest ones to you. And you get to choose which one you go to, and then it'll give you directions and get you back on track on your route again when you're done getting gas. That's my favorite feature with the command center on this bike. And right here is that toggle switch that changes your command center screen. Something simple yet I think is a huge feature on this bike is this compartment right here in your dashboard. Um, watertight, so if you put your phone in here, if you want to, you won't get it wet. You can connect your phone here, but what I like even more is if you feel like keeping your phone in your pocket, which I do, you can actually connect a USB thumb drive right here and choose your music. And again, it's watertight, so nothing's getting wet. A couple of features you can add to this bike actually are heated grips, which would be kind of cool if you ride in the cold months. And then over here in this area, you've got a connector for a garage door opener. It's a plug and play operation, one touch. That would be kind of cool to add to this bike as well. So if you want to lock the saddlebags, you can do that. You're not getting in. I love the security feature on this, but another thing about it is as I unlock this saddlebag, 
right here. It's got a quick disconnect if you need to take them with you or you want to clean, get a detailed clean down there on this bike. It's a one hand maneuver. Love this feature as well. Right here, it's an auxiliary port. Back in the old days, we used to call this the cigarette lighter, but it is an auxiliary port. You can plug in a device, you can charge your batteries. Very convenient. I love gadgets, so this is pretty cool. Right here, this toggle switch, check that out. You can press it to make the uh, windshield go up or back down. And here's another cool feature. Instead of having to hold the toggle switch, you can actually do it twice. It'll do it all the way. I just love this feature. One last thing about this Indian Chieftain Limited. Uh, you can get those heat shields to help with that heat on your legs from the motor that I mentioned earlier in the video for about $70 to $80 at either North County Indian Motorcycles or online eBay. Check it out. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Motorcycle Monkey Channel on YouTube. Tell your friends about it and click the bell icon so you get notified when I do new videos. Ride safely and I'll see you next time.